Since World War II, which projected the United States into the role of a major world power, we Americans have had to face a series of difficult tasks and trials. And on the whole, we have faced them very well. Today, we are facing another ordeal in Southeast Asia, which again is costing us both lives and treasure. South Vietnam is a long way from the United States, and the issues posed may seem remote from our daily experience and our immediate interests. It is essential, therefore, that we clearly understand and so far as possible agree on our mission and purpose in that faraway land. Why are we in Vietnam? Certainly we are not there merely because we have power and like to use it. We do not regard ourselves as the policemen of the universe. We do not go around the world looking for quarrels in which we can intervene. Quite the contrary. We have recognized that just as we are not the gendarmes of the universe, neither are we the magistrate of the universe. If other governments, other institutions, or other regional organizations can find solutions to the quarrels which disturb this present scene, we are anxious to have this occur. But we're in Vietnam because the issues posed there are deeply intertwined with our own security and because the outcome of the struggle can profoundly affect the nature of the world in which we and our children will live. The situation we face in Southeast Asia is obviously complex, but in my view, the underlying issues are relatively simple and are utterly fundamental. I am confident that Americans who have a deep and mature understanding of world responsibility are fully capable of cutting through the underbrush of complexity and finding the simple issues which involve our largest interests and deepest purposes. I regard it, therefore, as a privilege to be able to discuss these problems with the committee this morning, to consult with you, and at the same time to try to clarify for the American people the issues we must squarely face. 